Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. Today I have this wooden panel which is 11 inches by 14 inches in size 11, 14. So I have prepped it by taping on the back and priming on the top. Now I am going to use the let me mix it a bit because it's been sitting in for a while so it's kind of separated um i'm going to use the decor 24k gold here just a single layer Oops, it doesn't, it's not covering the whole thing. So what should I do? Let me try the PBO one. Better than golden, um, sorry, deco art. So yeah, I'm covering my surface with gold. That is my first step. This is day two. Today I want to create something a tad bit different. So what I'm thinking is you saw that I painted my um, wooden panel gold color. On top of that, I want to create a thin layer of resin, kind of like a curtain. And I want to, uh, I hope I can manipulate that thin layer of resin when it's still soft and I can create some kind of three-dimensional art. To do so, you can see I kind of prepared my makeshift uh, mold, which is actually the Fluid Art Company mat. And I am um, layering that, or, or I let it sit on the back side of a 20 by 20 uh, gallery wrap canvas and now on top of this i'm going to use different pigments to create this beautiful curtain and i am going to go all out i'm going to i'm thinking all the vibrant colors that i can think of so bear with me and let's start so uh today i'm going to create a color green here using resin and these are some colors that I have picked um because I don't have very many resin colors so I will try to find some more if I could um oh taffy is another one I like I also have the color art resin art amorelis so these are the colors that I'm going to use today to create some kind of beautiful fabric that's in my head so let me mix my resin and come back so I'm done mixing my resin now i have very limited amount of time so i took off my mask to introduce you to the pigments that i'm using this is submarine from piggy 
that one then the next one is mango the third one is of course groovy the fourth one is uh, my release from resin art color art next one is emerald from piggy this one is parakeet one of my most favorite pigments then this green one is lily pad and the last one that you see it's toughy so i have very limited amount of time because once you mix your resin uh your time is ticking basically so i'll go how did i pick this pigment colors um i was just imagining i am allowed to design a vibrant color uh, scarf what colors should i pick i would pick this color so that was my initial thought process so let's see what i get using these pigments I will probably if it this time it works I will buy proper resin molding equipments this is my first try so I'm not sure if any is it going to pan out so I am just trying to do I'm just trying to improvise with what I have For now it looks like I mixed perfect amount of resin. So now let's see for the next one, groovy. I started using a syringe to apply the uh, resins and it's working out way better than before. I'm not so sure about this blue color probably I should not have used it anyway it's done so I have to stick with it now with this stick I am 
kind of mixing all the colors together and making sure that there's no gap in between the colors therefore it's a homogeneous surface and once i'm done with that i am going to use a blower to blow and make sure there's no bubble left now with the heat gun i'm trying to blend in some of the colors together um and of course it's going to move around a little because they are all liquid now and it will take some time to uh, settle them down so probably around after four hours i'll come back and see how um how soft or how hard the resin is and from there i'll figure out what to do some close-up shots after around four hours hello everyone so i am back after four hours let's see how my new fabric works as far as color goes if i were to do it again i would not probably use this shade of blue i love all the other uh, colors but probably the blue would be something i would be thinking hey look at this look at this it's so pretty this is what i have on the back this is on the front oh gosh i can use either side so give me a second let me remove my workstation and come back to you so this is my board and a couple of things i am figuring out is like how thick it can be see this side a tiny bit thicker because i was using this i did not have anything labeled or, or anything so it's not 100 percent perfect but what I'm thinking is that probably I can make it a tiny bit thinner. And yeah, definitely I will make it a tiny bit thinner. And Mentally, I'm trying to drape this malleable thing on top of the wooden surface. Look at what's happening the back it's getting stuck with the canvas so what I'm going to do is I am going to try to create a 3d effect which is going to be like this and I'm gonna snip it to the side so
Let me see if I can cut it with my scissor. Yes, I can. So I'm doing that. So definitely next time I'm making it a tiny bit thinner because I think that's okay. And I am going to let it dry completely. As you can see, it's soft but it's not very flexible. So that is something I have to work on. Either I will start doing this at that bit earlier than four hours or I have to make my layers like thinner way. oh wow it looks so pretty 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 and it's going to dry this way so I'm going to tape these sides so it will be retain the shape and dry completely as you can see that it's soft now because it's been only four hours, not enough time to cure or harden. So that's why you see it like this. it has to be less than one eighth of a thickness inch of a thickness one eighth inch of a thickness less than one eighth inch of a thickness okay so let me cover the sides So pretty pretty I can't wait to see what happens and ladies and gentlemen it's nowhere close to be finished I'm just saying I would leave it like this. Yeah, I like it.
a work in progress, trying to figure out myself what I'm doing at the same time. I'm not 100% sure. So, sorry for the camera thing, what you see. If I could keep it this way, that would be nice, but I'm not sure if I can. I'm applying some heat, uh, hoping that it will help me work a little bit better with this. Okay, so this is how I am going to keep this one and I'll stop here. This is the extra piece that I have. I'm just going to keep it that way because I don't know what to do with this. So it stays like this. Eh, no. No, it stays. So yeah, here it is. It's going to sit like this for next long period of time, at least 12 hours to make it dry like this shape. Hopefully it'll stay like that. It will not change or get unpeeled or something. So here we are. Only thing my wish is, I hope it will stay like this. Okay, I'll let it stay. I don't care. I did dry. So until next step, see you soon. Hello everyone. So here I am, it dried everything. So a couple of things and this is my first piece that I did and um, what did I learn from this one first of all I need to make my um, resin layer much thinner than what I have why because see I have all these cracks as it dried you can see I hope um, so it has to be thinner see I have a crack here I have a crack here I hope you can see so <clears throat> so first of all I need to make my um, resin layer way thinner than what I have here second of all I have to make sure that my base is ready before I do layer the resin on the top because this one it got stuck with this and as i was trying to remove it see i have kind of 
um, some of my gold was uh, pulled up so um, that is also something I need to pay attention to also when while folding resin layer I also have to be very careful that this is not as malleable as the um, acrylic skins so I cannot literally do these kind of folds and expect that they will stay as is so if you're thinking that if this piece is salvageable yes it is because i can always come back and i uh, let me show you what um, i have these um shattered glass different colors like white uh transparent and this one is kind of like black i have to wash it to get the beautiful color out so i can always later come back and put them on here and i can always salvage them which i am going to do so um that's something i learned and what is uh, now the question is what do i like about this i love the idea of having this 3d look and as you can see it creates a beautiful uh, pattern which is i'm really fond of i love the how the sides have uh, uh, got stuck or how the sides look and how it blends into the um, wooden panel I really really love it and I would let it cure some more then I'll come back and I will show you the process of how I salvage this uh, particular piece let's work on this piece to make it more beautiful Please tell me what do you think about this piece i feel like there's a lot of potential on this technique so i would like to explore this more in my following maybe two three four more videos and we'll see where we are so please let me know what do you think again and thank you so much for joining me today until next time bye